Welcome to this tutorial on how to create uh, a very basic text uh, style graphic for Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I'm going to get a, a background to use as an image and then put some text over the top of it. So very simple. Uh, first off, I need to find something that will work as a suitable background. I've downloaded some vision here from some protests in Brazil and I'm just going to scroll through it until I find something that will be suitable for a background kind of like that. I think that'll work. Um, so at the moment, obviously it's video. So if I play it, it's a video piece. What I want to do is kind of freeze that, make it a photo. So the way you do that is you right click on your, uh, on the exact part of the video that you want to make into a freeze frame. Um, or you can also hold control left click if you don't have access to a right click on your mouse. Then you want to go to add frame hold. That's the setting that we want. What that's done is basically it's cut the vision right there. And on the left side, I still have video, but on the right side, it is frozen. As you can see, if I press play, the audio is still playing, but the image is frozen. So that's great. Well, what I'm going to do now is just delete the video part and the audio part by selecting it and pressing delete on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to move my frozen image over to the start of the timeline. Cool. So there we go. I've got like a minute 30 of a frozen image at the moment, which is too long. Right. Next thing I want to do is make this look more like a background graphic um, as opposed to a photo. Get it, get, it, get it a bit more stylish and professional. So the way I'm going to do that is over here in my effects tab, I am going to click on video effects and then color correction. And there's lots of different color correction options, but the one I am interested in is fast color corrector. It's probably one of the easiest ones to use out of these options. Drag that in over to your clip. And then what's going to happen is up here, you will get access to the effect controls. Now, if you are having trouble finding this effects tab and the effect controls tab, it's just because probably different tabs are open in these various boxes. So just cycle through them until you find the effects tab as well as the effect controls tab. So once you're in this, uh, I can do some alterations to this image. So first off, I'm just going to kind of move this around to pick a color that is a little more stylized. And then I'm going to change the saturation, kind of reduce the color a bit to fade it out. Um, and then I'm also going to change the highlights and shadows, basically changing the brightness. Um, you can fiddle around with all these options yourself. They all do different things in terms of altering the image. Obviously, it's, there's quite a bit of um, customizations that you can play around with. Um, but the idea is to kind of darken out the image a bit. It means that when we put text over the top, it's going to jump out a bit more. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe I could... Pretty happy with that, I reckon. Okay, um, so once, once you're content with how your image looks like, the next thing is to put some text over the top. If you go up here and click Title, New Title, Default Still, and give that a name. Let's just call it Cop Quote for me. Okay. And then you get uh, our text editor pop-up window, again, which is quite, uh, there's a lot of options here that you can do in terms of your text. I'm just going to get straight into it and just click on the image and start typing. Um, for instance, let's just say I was quoting one of the police officers. Um, Obviously that's gigantic text, so I'm going to reduce the font size. Probably a bit bigger than that. And I'm gonna, you get options of lots of different font choices. I'm gonna pick something slightly more news, newsy, um, seeing I'm, as I'm making a new style graphic, Cambria is pretty good. 
Um, and then I'm going to add some more text down here. Uh, let's just call Officer John Smith, for instance. And make that slightly smaller. Cool. And then over here, you can click on your pointer and you can move these texts around. Cool. That looks pretty professional. So you could imagine if we were quoting a police officer that we didn't get on camera, we could create a graphic looking something like this. Close that down once you're done with it. And then, as you can see, it doesn't automatically come up here. It's not connected to this. Uh, uh, video track. What the reason why is because if I go into my project, which yours might be down there, but I've moved it mine to the left of the screen. Um, our title is actually here. It's its own element. So you need to actually grab that title that you've created and drag it over on top of your video piece. You can extend it or shorten it as however you want. But yeah, there you go. It appears now on screen. Um, now, if I just play this, this is what it's going to look like uh, in terms of its motion at the moment. The text just kind of just leaps out, right? And it looks a little cheap. So better way to do, go about this is to have this text fade in, to transition it in. So again, on the effects tab down here, this time we're interested in video transitions, dissolve, cross dissolve. Put that at the start and at the end of your text. I'll just make this a bit shorter so we can see the effect. And I'll press space to play. And as you see, it kind of fades in on the screen, looks more professional, and it's also going to fade out in a second. Cool. Another thing you could do is actually get a double fade happening and fade in the graphic as well. So if I have the graphic maybe starting here and have another cross dissolve on the graphic, let's have a look at this. That was pretty, looks, looks a little more professional like that. Pretty happy with that. Cool. Um, I'm already upset that I haven't properly centered my text. So if I was doing this for a real project, I would have spent a bit more time uh, on the text and making it look nice and pretty, but you get the idea. I uh, hope that helps.